Good morning. So we're going live from Lawira, the ayahuasca retreat that I've arrived at yesterday. And yesterday afternoon, I obviously got on the bus there with the others uh, who are also coming to the retreat. And I can honestly say that we've got such a great group this time. So as I come on the bus, I just reread my journal from last time and all the notes and my intentions for this retreat as well, this one week retreat that I'm on at the moment. So as I'm driving on the bus, uh, I felt a huge sense of say gratitude and excitement to come back here because as you can see, like behind me, uh, we have the mountains and it's absolutely incredible. So I arrived yesterday afternoon with the others and we checked into our rooms. Uh, we, we started to have conversations and get to know each other. So it was really nice to actually meet the other people who are here on their healing journeys or their specific journeys of self-development and self-discovery. So yeah, we had a great afternoon yesterday. Um, the weather turned and there was a big thunderstorm. Uh, we ended up all sitting in the dark because the electricity went out, but you know, this is what makes it very special. And we done two word circles where we sat and we shared some of our intentions, some of potential um, worries or fears that may pop up for individuals, especially say someone that's coming for the first time, because even me, when I first um, turned up in February uh, 2023, I had many things going around in my mind uh, because it's the unknown, right? But everyone should know that the unknown is a magical place. Like the magic is in the unknown and the uncertainty. So yeah, we, we all got everything out and off of our chest, got to know each other a bit more. And then people started to go bed to bed in the evening. Uh, and me and a few others, we stayed up and we shared some stories. Uh, then obviously we went to bed and I had an absolutely incredible night's sleep last night. I felt so fresh this morning when I woke up. I had a nice cold shower very early. And then we've all just literally finished eating our breakfast this morning. So we're all feeling fresh and ready for this evening. And yeah, this evening we're doing the night ceremony. So this time on this re retreat, we're doing three night ceremonies. Then we have a break day and then we do the one day ceremony. So I'm going to be a bit vulnerable now and I'm going to share my intention going into tonight. So my intention for tonight's ceremony is that I want to try and reveal or discover any blockages or any trapped trauma that I got left in my body um, and why do I say this because yeah I went through a lot of pain in the past with say my brain injury but the biggest trauma for me was when I went through the depression like when I went through many months of mental misery whilst down and depressed after say splitting up with my girlfriend and that whole process was the most difficult thing that I ever went through in my life and why I'm talking about this is because when I was going through that depression, I was overwhelmed with emotions and I didn't know how to deal with my emotions at the time. And I had like depression, anxiety, I had it all. And that those emotions, those say unreleased emotions were trapped inside my body and they were showing up in certain ways. And one way that it showed up was in a physical way in my right leg. Um, I started to just randomly one day get twitches in my right leg and it'd be like once a week I'd get a twitch and then every other day I'd get a twitch in my leg, sometimes down my down the back of my leg or in my foot for instance and then it happened every day and then just suddenly after all those months of say depression and, and hurt and pain that I kept trapped inside, I kept bottled up, it just happened every single day and then since since that time in my life it was trapped in me and I know my body more than anyone else, but I go to the doctors, I end up doing months of physio, I end up getting acupuncture, I end up doing all these different things regarding physiotherapy, because they said it was like sciatica. Um, and then in the end, the doctors <laughs> said, because of my brain injury all those years ago, this is just an effect of what happened all those years ago. Uh, they put me through scanning machines etc and they say oh yeah this is just wear and tear on your brain and because it was this side of your brain it's now affecting this right side of your leg and it's because of your brain injury look they, they could be right but i said a minute ago i know my body more than anybody else and i truly believe that it's trapped emotions 
And I've worked on myself every single day, literally since coming up and out of that depression. But look, no one's perfect. So I believe that there's something inside of me still that I can't yet see with, say, my own eyes or, or my own thoughts or my own journey inside myself. I can't see it. So I'm going to rely on Mother Ayahuasca to help guide me hopefully tonight to discover what it is that is trapped inside me so then I can face it to see it to then work on it going forwards in the future because you know emotions are the reporters for the soul and unexpressed emotions will never die they are buried alive and they will come forth later in much uglier ways so whatever it is that you're going through in life any emotions you need to observe them you need to feel them whether you're happy sad angry whatever it is feel your emotions but don't ever become the emotion like just imagine like the clouds in the sky look at all emotions as a passing cloud that's just going through be the observer of your emotions but never become the emotions let them pass by some will be good some will be bad but just know that the good ones don't last forever and neither do the bad ones so nothing lasts forever so whatever shit you're going through in your life, just realise that it's temporary and the way that you look at the issue is the issue. So if you can change your thinking, you can literally change your life and your perception will shape your reality. So this is my intention going into tonight's ceremony and I'm going to get back to you tomorrow and let you know how I got on. So I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow.